Welcome back to Bet Safe Round One. That's Round One because it's the Champions Cup. We're going to have a look at the preview with myself, Jim Hamilton, and myself, Andy Good. Yes, we are. I'm going to take a look at our accumulators. We're going to focus on the weekly accumulators that are available for new and existing Bet Safe customers. The Champions Cup. Who are the current champions? Saracens. There we go. Official betting partner. Official Saracens. So, Goody, let's have a look at last week. I know it's 3-1, but first I just want to mention, I've put a shirt on today. Looking smart, mate. Yeah, denim shirt. Double denim, out of fashion. Double denim and train... Out of fashion. Mate, the 80s want their shirt back. Mate, the 80s is in, mate. The 80s is in. So, I've put a shirt on. It's Champions Cup. But we're going to look back because it's 3-1 to you. It is. Have a look at the scoreboard just behind us, Jim. Where? Just behind you. There you go. 3-1 to me. So, you were you got one wrong this week, didn't you? Which game did you get wrong? Well, sadly... I bet against my old club, Gloucester. That's terrible. Never bet against your old teams. You know what happens, though? So when we bet against the teams, so when we bet against Gloucester, when we bet against Northampton in week one, they're rejuvenated the week after. They are. So you, you, know you, I mean? you back Saints to win down at King's Home. Good game, actually. Gloucester played really well. Henry Trinder on fire. Uh, Northampton, really close. Came back into it. Actually, Dylan Hartley goes off. Mike Hayward comes on at hooker. Scores a try. Goes really well. Nearly win, but Gloucester just held out for the victory. But unfortunately for you, mate, you got it wrong. I got all four right again. So I'm, I'm just I'm just looking at yours. So Quinns versus Sale. Yeah, good win for Quinns. Easy win. Yeah, easy win. Comfortable win. Yeah. Bath versus, versus Worcester. Yeah. Close game though. Yeah, it was a close game. Close Freddie game. Burns, red card. Yeah, I saw that. Tip, Tip tackle. tackle. He's got to stop throwing What's he doing? Around. Just tipping him and ducking him down. I know he's done that, but it looked as if like. The guy that he's tip tackled, which who was Josh Adams? Josh Adams, mate, you know your ruggers, don't I you? I know my ruggers. I just know that he's he's dump tackled a bloke, um, <laughs> and the, he's rotated in the air. Yeah, I, 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 it looks worse than it actually was. Yeah, there's no, probably no intent from it, but he'll get a ban. Yeah. So Bath Worcester game was very close. Easy pick though. Bath were you always know, mate, you never know. Well, you never know. The Premiership, you can't judge it this year, can you? It's difficult. X to Newcastle. Yeah, it's a close game. Yeah. Ten points in that. Newcastle yeah. got a. Four try bonus point as well. Nicky yeah. Gonover scored again. Exeter, very good at Sandy Park though. So that was a good win for me. And then finally Sunday. I don't want to talk about Sunday. I'm done. Not even talking about it. We're talking about okay, it. Okay, let's talk about because it. Because it was our featured game from last week. It was. Brought you by BetSafe.com. So we have to talk about yeah, it. We do. Because Wasps are now third from bottom. They're in the relegation zone. They're if if this is football, <laughs> if they're in football, they're in the relegation zone. No, listen, we're going through a tough time. We've played, uh, we lost four on the spin. Um... Two, two out of those four away games are away. One at Saracens, one at Exeter. Places where no one's going to go and win this year. Probably. True, true. No one's going to win. So Saracens. the two games that we've lost that we should have won are home games against Quinns and Bath. That's why we're in the four-game streak of, of losing. But I thought the boys played well. It was Saracens' first team, Bar, Billy, Vanapola and Schaltberger. And Owen Farrell. And Owen Farrell, yeah. And it was our third team. We had, we had 19-year-olds, 18-year-olds playing. We had the kids out. They barred up. They went quite well. They get two soft tries away. Yeah, I saw the... Yeah, Jamie I did George's. find out a good stat, though. What? This year, Saracens have got the best line out in the Premiership so far. We're six rounds in. Yeah. Saracens have the best line out in the Premiership so far. Well, of course, last, they have. last year they're the second best. They had the sixth best line out in the Premiership. No, when you right. were playing, no, sixth, no. you retire number one. Did There's you, a difference. Did you see how many more tries? Hey, how's this flipped back to me? Because Wasps are in the relegation zone, <laughs> and since you've been there, they haven't won a game. Well, as I said, corporate sales gone through the roof. Corporate sales. That's, hey, that's what I'm looking that, after. I can see, I can see <laughs> that's what you're looking after as well. So Saracens' comfortable victory against Wasps, Wasps. the weekend, three-one. This week, week one of the Champions Cup, I'm going to smash it. So, Goody, we're going to look at the five pools. And I'm looking at you to explain to me and the Betsay fans out there and Saracens fans how it all works. Well, there's five pools, four teams in each pool. Uh, obviously, the group winners of each pool go through to the quarterfinals, then the three best runners up. So, a bit of a complicated way of looking at it, but so many tight pools this year. Um, let's start off with pool one. We've got Harlequins, La Rochelle, Ulster and Wasps. Four big teams in there. Larry see, actually, Wasps are already bottom. Oh, it's just alphabetically. Okay. Right? Alphabet, okay fine, alphabetically. Fine. <laughs> but you, you look at that. Harlequins went to Wasps a couple of weeks ago in the Premiership and won. Um, La Rochelle finished top of the top 14 last year. Lost in the semi-final. Uh, Ulster, always strong at the Kings Pan Stadium, the old Ravenhill. Um, so there's no easy games there at all. And obviously Wasps go to Ulster this Friday night after a five-day turnaround, which isn't enough for me. Quinns host La Rochelle in the opening round fixture. I think Quinns will be looking to get a home victory there. I expect Ulster probably to beat Wasps with the injuries that we've got. Um, hopefully Wasps can win, but for me, you look at your overall group winner, obviously I'm going to say Wasps. 
Okay, so we're on to pool two, and arguably the toughest pool. We've got Clermont, Northampton, Ospreys, and the Mighty Saracens, of course. It's just a, like, what a pool that is. Yeah. That is the pool of death. Uh, Saracens, champions of Europe for the last two years. Clermont, champions of France. Um, obviously got to the final last year as well. How they've ended up in the same pool is unbelievable. And then Northampton and Ospreys. Ospreys, they're, they're, that's a gimme victory. They're, I think they've played six in the Pro 14 so far and only won one. But um, they do turn it on in I just, Europe. I don't they see are better. Them. Yeah, I, don't, I, I agree with you. But they normally, notoriously, when it comes to Champions Cup time, Ospreys or all the Welsh teams, or Scarlet's notoriously do well as well in the Pro 14, mm. turn it on. But I agree, Ospreys have been poor. Saracens up against Northampton, our featured game this week, and we'll chat more about that later on. Who's your group winner from that, then? Mate, it's tough. I want to say Saracens. You want to, but... You're not. You, I, well, yeah, potentially, yeah. But you've got, you can't look past Clermont. Okay. How, how good are Clermont? When Clermont, last year's finalists, saw they were up against the mighty Saracens, they would have been devastated. You look at some of the other groups, and we'll, we'll chat more about that. I'm going to go Saracens to top the pool and Clermont. But you look at the, the other pools that we've got. We've got pool three, Exeter, Glasgow, Leinster, Montpellier. Another tough pool. Yeah, very tough. Um, Exeter haven't had much European experience, but we know they're champions of England. Uh, they're a fantastic side. Glasgow played 6-1-6 six, six in the Pro 14. Yes, they are. Um, decent Scottish team. They did exceptionally well last year in the Champions Cup as well, didn't they? Leinster, their history uh, in the Champions Cup is huge. They've got um, so much talent. You've got Ringrose in the centre. Um, he's outstanding. And then Montpellier, the big hitters in France. They've paid more than anyone else. They've got King Louis Picamont, uh, Franz Steyn, Aaron Cruden over from New Zealand. So they've got a squad littered with talent. And they've got Vern Cotter at the helm. Yeah, highest paid, mate. High, my mate. Yeah, don't like me. <laughs> uh, highest paid coach in world rugby history. History. History, there we go. So I'm going to go that group. Uh, you didn't ask me about Pool 2, who's going to win. You said Saracens. I'm going to go Clermont. Sorry, oh, mate. Oh, all right, mate. Sorry, mate. And then yeah. Pool 3, uh, it's really tough to call. I'm going to go Montpellier to win it. Montpellier to win that group. I think Montpellier are going to win their, uh, lose their first game. But I think we're going to see them do do well. Well, they go to Leinster, don't they? Yeah. Tough place. Tough place to go and play. Mm. Uh, pool 4, we've got Cas Castra. Casts. Cast? Cast. Yeah. Cast. Cast. Uh, we've got Leicester, Munster and Racing 92. A horrendous pool again. If there's two pools of death, it's this one as well. So we, obviously pool two, that's a pool of death. This one, you've got Racing 92 with the likes of Dan Carter, um, some phenomenal players. And then Munster came in some real good form last year, didn't yeah. they? Um, qualifying. I think they got to the quarterfinals last year. And they and they are a Champions Cup team. Munster are. Yeah. When it, when it comes to the big games. They turn up for that. Yeah. They don't really care. Well, they do care about the Pro 14, but... They really focus on this Champions Cup. Uh, Leicester Tigers have come back into some form this year. Um, guys like George Ford, Matt Tamura as well, some world-class stars there. Cast, I think they're going to be the whipping boys in that group. Um, Cast, generally, as a, as, a, as a team, the French don't take the Champions Cup too seriously. Um, Cast are always focusing to try and get in the barrage, which is the top six in the French League. So I think they'll become the whipping boys. And you might see a runner-up coming out of this group as well. Um, I'm going to go Munster to win the group. You? I'm going to go Leicester. Sticks to his old team, doesn't he? Exactly, I'm loyal. Loyal. Pool 5. What do you reckon of Pool 5? Bath, Benetton. You, lo you love the Italian teams, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Well, Benetton are going all right. Oh, so. they are. Scarlet's and Toulon. Well, big game. First game this weekend. Scarlet's go to Toulon. Lee Halfpenny going back to the club that offered him a contract, pulled it back, yeah. ripped it up, chucked him out. Um, I think, obviously, for me, Scarlet's won the Pro 14 last year. Toulon, big favourites to win this group. Um, but you'll definitely get a second place runner up out of this pool with Treviso in there. Treviso have improved immensely. They've beaten some uh, decent teams in the Pro 14 beat as the well. Ospreys. They beat the Ospreys. Um, I think they beat Edinburgh as yeah, well. Yeah, they beat Edinburgh. Um, and that was with Richard Cockerell at the helm, moaning yeah. about referees. Um, who'd have thought that? Cocker's yeah. moaning about referees. No, I agree with him. Anyway, uh, for me, too long to win it. Scarlet's or Bath to come second place yeah. and qualify for the quarterfinals. See, interestingly to see how Bath do there, I'm just unsure whether they've got the strength and depth in their squad to go week on week on week. What you generally find in the pool stages, well, in the whole of the Champions Cup, it's the squad depth that really matters. So, like you mentioned there, you know, too long, I've got the squad. They have. So that's our review of the pools going into week one. So, Goody, we're going to get into our Akers this week. Have you taken the easy street again or are you going something where, you know, there's a chance that the opposition might win? Mate, there's always a chance. You get on the rugby field, it's 15 players against 15 players. Because I'm 3-1 up, you're getting a little bit bitter oh. about my selections. But this week, I'm going for um, 
Yeah, I am. I'm taking a bit of a risk here. I'm going. Where? For, well, I'm going for Exeter to beat Glasgow. Glasgow haven't lost a game all year. Okay. That, yeah. Okay. So there's one yeah, against, so, against the champions of England. Yeah. So Exeter down at Sandy Park. They're phenomenally good down there. Uh, but Glasgow have won some away games. They got an away victory with a bonus point over in South Africa against the Cheetahs at the weekend. I think travel might affect them though, so I'm going extra to win that one. Mate, your knowledge is so good. Let me just tell you that. I'm, I'm talking you up there. You know your Thanks stuff. You. I just you. want to say though, people want to see extra now go well in the Champions Cup. So yeah. the Tours, they were in a tough pool last year. Extra a team now that needs to kick on. They need to be quarter final, semi final team in the Champions Cup. Yeah, and, and that starts on, on Saturday. Uh, or Sunday, I think it is actually, when Sunday. they play Glasgow. Um, massive game for them. They had a bit of a shocker in, in, in Europe last year. They were going through a bad spell in the champion in the Premiership as well. So um, another group of death for them. But if they can beat Glasgow in week one, it'll give them some confidence. So my Akio, I'm going Exeter to beat Glasgow. I'm going Bath to beat Treviso. Of course. That's a bit of a formality, hopefully, for Bath at the rec. Um, but Treviso turned over a couple of big teams, as we've spoken about before this year. Who knows? Toulon to beat the Scarlets. Scarlets, Pro 14 champions. I'm going against them. Down in Toulon. Who goes to Toulon and wins apart from Saracens? Saracens. Bank? I was on the bench. Yeah. 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 Did you play? Or? Yeah, I came on for 15. We were winning by 20 points. Probably five minutes, not 15. <laughs> uh, and then lastly, I'm going Claremont to beat the Ospreys. Of course. But that's at the Ospreys. Claremont's away record isn't great. So that's a bit of a risky one for me. Claremont, very good team. I think they're ninth or 10th in the pro in the top 14 at the minute. Um, not going particularly well. Lost away to Toulouse yesterday. Um, they're going to be beaten up and battered and bruised, but I'm hoping they're going to have too much for the Ospreys down in Swansea. Well, there should be some good odds in there if you've actually been a bit more daring. So anyway, more importantly, I'm going to try and level it 3-2 next week. Well, it's not level it though, is it? We'll try and level it. I'm trying to get to the point of leveling, leveling okay. it. So 3-2 and then you know, once I win next week and I win week two, we the Champions Cup, yeah, I'll be up. Carry on. So my Akers for this week, this was such an easy one. Mate, this was probably the easiest Akka I've ever done. Ulster to beat Wasps. Relegation battlers, what? We're not, mate. Well, this week we get Joe Launchby back. Okay. Nathan Hughes. But you mentioned it earlier. Jimmy Gopper. A five-day turnaround. Yes. How can you go from playing Saracens on a Sunday, regardless of the personnel? Yeah. Wasp put out a younger team. Les plays. Haskell was still playing. So some of the older guys were having to still play and back up. Yeah. Ashley Johnson. To then go to Ravenhill. Or Kingspan, Ra whichever one you call Kingspan, it. Kingspan, Ravenhill, same thing. In the rainy, windy Ulster... And that's an island, isn't it? Also, is an island. Belfast, yeah. yeah. Belfast, you do yeah, well. yeah, yeah, exactly. How big can they go there and expect to win? Um, it'll be tough, but it's a new competition. Um, you know, a change is as good as a rest sometimes. Hopefully, they can get some momentum back. Um, tough place to go. You're right. Charles Piertau in some ridiculous form, as ever, for Ulster. He was at the um, loss, weren't he? He was. He was. Yeah, so there's a bit of that. When they were good. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah a couple of years ago. Um, so, yeah, um, you're going Ulster to beat Wasps. I'm going Ulster to beat Wasps. I hope you're wrong. Comfortably at the Kingspan. Mm. They just change the name of the stadium all the time. It's all to do with money. It is. Leveraging sponsorship. It's all doing that leveraging. Yeah. Uh, I've gone for the similar to you. Well, it's not similar. It's exactly the same as you. Exeter to beat Glasgow. I mean, similar in terms of the Ackers. Exeter to beat Glasgow. Same kind of reasons. Exeter, uh, for me, need to kick on. Rob Baxter will have the Champions Cup in his sights. You know, to improve massively on last year. We mentioned Glasgow doing really well. They've got a great squad under David Rennie. They've played some unbelievable rugby, but Exeter's a tough place to go and play. I played there a couple of times and won. No, you didn't. But, yeah. I did. Did you? Maybe genuinely. They'll back themselves at Glasgow, won't they? Finn Russell? Yeah, Finn Russell, John, Johnny Gray's second game, Tommy Seymour on the wing. Mate, they've got some quality players. Never you know? heard of them. Never heard of them. Never heard of any of those players. No, okay. Stuart Hogg, I've heard of him. Tommy Seymour was the highest try scorer on the Lions tour. Let's carry on. Just saying. I bet he's actually Irish. Oh, there we go. But and Scottish. Um, and then we spoke about it when we were running through the pools. I've gone Leinster to beat Montpellier. I think Montpellier are a form team. We mentioned with all the, the players, Vern Cotter, highest paid coach in world rugby ever. Uh, but Leinster at home, this is a big competition for them. It has been over the years. I'm sure that they'll want to be be seen there. It's a tough place to go and play. It is. And you look at my... I commentated on a Montpellier game at the weekend. They were away at Stade Francais. And Stade Francais have been all over the shop. Uh, Montpellier lost to Stade Francais at the weekend. Naturally, Montpellier don't travel well. Remember uh, last year or the year before, they were in the same group and Montpellier got absolutely hosed by Leinster. So yeah. you've picked an easy one there. Well, here's one for you. So my last Dakar, shock and horror, I've gone uh, Saracens to beat Northampton. At, at Northampton. Northampton. So I've gone for Saracens to beat last week's, before the games were played, top of the league team, Northampton. Right, but you're also going Saracens to beat a team they put 50 points on in week one of the Premiership. I mean, it's daring, Jim. It's so daring. Interesting you say that. 
I reckon this week for Saracens will be a lot tougher. Oh, of course it will. Well, uh, it, it was easier at Twickenham, wasn't it? Well, I, I, obviously, I, I mean a lot tougher. I think it's going to be a lot closer than oh, people it'll be, think. It'll be an absolute war. Um, you know, Northampton will have it thrown in their face all week about they're embarrassed at Twickenham. We talked about it, didn't we? Yeah. Um, so well, they'll well, be pumped we, up. We kicked Northampton on. After that team talk on betsafe.com, yeah. we have kicked Northampton on. They've gone top of the league now. Exactly. Look what we do. This is how powerful we are. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it'll be tough. Uh, Farrell, is he going to be fit? I thought Lozowski played really well yesterday. Yeah, he did, yeah. I think Farrell's got a car strain. I think it was marginal whether he was going to play. Yeah. I think they know that this is the big game. The Champions yeah. Cup's huge for Saracens. We've won it. We. Two years in a row. Well, two you, years you watched them win it, right? We won it. We won it two years in a row. And to win it three years on the bats will be an incredible feat. It will be. Do you reckon they can do it? I genuinely think they can. I think, like you mentioned, I think we're in the toughest group. You are in a very tough group. But if you believe in Saracens, have a bet on betsafe.com the official betting partner of Saracens. Saracens. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.